Hi, my name is Justin Price and I'm the creator of the Biomechanics Method Corrective Exercise Specialist Program. So let's look at the hamstring. So let's going to start with stretching uh, Sarah's left hamstring. I'm going to pretend I'm a door frame. So Sarah could do this uh, between a door frame. So she'd put her body between the door frame. I would be the left side of the door frame. And this is a, a uh, passive stretch. The rest of her body is relaxed and she's stretching her left hamstring passively. I am having her bend her uh, right knee because when we assess Sarah, she has excessive lumbar lordosis, which is an arching of the lower back. If she puts her leg straight, that's going to arch her lower back. So we're making her posteriorly tilt her pelvis um, or just really just sit into a relaxed position without straightening the other leg and then just have her stretch this left hamstring passively, which is great. We can progress this to um, an active stretch. Active stretching is based on the principle of reciprocal inhibition. That's a fancy term for contract the antagonist of one muscle to stretch the agonist. For example, if we're stretching Sarah's left hamstring, the muscle or the opposite muscle of that would be the quadriceps because the hamstring stretches as the leg straightens. The muscle that helps straighten the leg would be the quadricep. So if Sarah squeezes her left quad now, that helps straighten her knee and the stretch increases. We can progress this stretch further, and we're going to do that. We'll move, we can do lots of things. We can actually move her leg over to the opposite door frame because now we're moving, because the hamstring comes from the butt bone all the way to the lower leg. And if I move the insertion of that muscle, which would be the lower leg, away from the origin, that's going to increase the stretch, as long as Sarah doesn't cheat by moving her hip, and she's doing a great job. We're going to progress that further. And obviously these things don't happen in one session. Um, I've trained Sarah before doing this video on how to do these exercises correctly, the same as you would do in your, in your progressive client's corrective exercise program. The next stretch we're gonna do is dynamic, and it's gonna integrate multiple parts of the body. And she's gonna to have to stabilize as she stretches her left hamstring. So let's go ahead and stand up.